Welcome back, everybody. This Carolina Panthers franchise here on Madden 20. We go into week number six, and we take an opponent that we know all too well, this Atlanta Falcons team, this division rival it's been. We've had just a past with this uh, Falcons team here in this franchise, playing each other twice in the playoffs, going one and one in that situation, then winning the Super Bowl. We win the Super Bowl the next year. So we know all about this Falcons team, and you know no matter what, whatever the records are, it's going to be a tough ball game and here we go into week number six we're trying to back up that week we had last week against the Ravens and here we go as Atlanta will receive the ball first and it's going to be down around the 25 yard line and that's where the Falcons team will start Matt Ryan having a fantastic season here through the first five games 17 touchdowns three interceptions he is looking good so we're gonna have to try to slow down Matt Ryan in this Falcons offense so Devontae Freeman's gonna get the first carry of the ball game and we'll bring him down, gain of six, to the 31-yard line. Second and five now for Ryan and company. As he's looking, we'll bring the blitz. He's going to go underneath there to Calvin Ridley, who has the catch first down for the 41-yard line. So Atlanta moving in here early on. We shut down that Ravens team last week. Then we'll really allow him to get anything And there. At least we get the shutdown there on third and five. Nice tackle there by Keekley on Freeman. Forcing the Atlanta punt, and here comes Justin Fields in this Panthers offense, which had a fantastic week last week. Fields throwing for four touchdowns, running the ball so well at over 500 yards. And let's see if we can back this up here against this Atlanta defense. Third and nine, and that's what we want to see. Finding DJ Moore, good protection in the pocket. First down up to the 35-yard line. So go back to the ground here with McCaffrey. Good block there, man. Upended. I'm not sure who that was there. That was pretty crazy. As McCaffrey with the good carry, he'll pick up around 12 yards. You know, still trying to get him going this year. Still trying to get him going. Good start there. Now second down. Fields looking around, trying to scramble away. But the ball is loose, pops out, and Dallin Cook is luckily there to pick that one up. Fields just couldn't get away. And luckily, uh... Dalvin Cook, man on the spot there. Third and 12, Fields looking. It's going to go down again. Brady Jarrett in there for the sack. And this Atlanta Falcons defense, which is defense. It's, you know, you know, you have some of those teams that kind of just have your number. And it just, no matter what, it could, it could be a team that's even not that great. And it's just, you just don't match up well against them. You have really struggle against them. And that's what this Falcons team is. They are a talented team. There's no doubt about it. Two years ago, winning the Super Bowl in this franchise. But, you know, it's just a team we just don't stack up well against, especially going against their defense. It's so tough, you know, sometimes to get stuff going. Their front four just absolutely kills us, and their secondary is really good. So hopefully we can change it up a little bit. Obviously success last year, beating them three times. But right now having a tough go at it here in the first quarter. Second and eight, Fields looking. There we go. That's a catch for Ingram. First down and more. He'll pick up 14 yards up to the 36-yard line. And, yeah, we need to see a little bit more of that. Try to avoid, you know, exploit these mismatches we got going here. Second and six. Go to McCaffrey on the ground. Good run there. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Up to the 49-yard line. We want to see this offense thrive here against a very good Falcons defense. Third and nine there near the end of the first quarter. Fields looking down the field. Dangerous throw. Could have been picked off by Desmond Trufant. But luckily, just incomplete. Fields trying to force it in there to D.J. Moore. That's going to be incomplete as we head into the second quarter. So this Atlanta defense doing their job, and our defense trying to do our job. So third and two, chance to get this offense off the field right away. And off to Freeman. Simmons is going to have the tackle, but he tackles him forward there, and that is going to be an Atlanta first down. And on third and six, I'm not sure what happened. There almost looked like a jump as there's a flag on the play. Take to see what the look at this flag is. So it's going to be holding. So they had the catch there for the first down. So that'll knock it back. McGarry with the uh, penalty there. So third and 16 instead of a first down. So Ryan from the gun looking. He's going to dump this one off to Calvin Ridley. Nice tackle there by Fuller. And then Ridley comes up. He's shaking up there for Atlanta. So that'll help us out there not to have Calvin Ridley in there. But this Atlanta defense continues to do work. That's going to be incomplete intended for Dalvin Cook. Third and 12. Fields looking. Has a man. Threw a little bit behind D.J. Moore, but makes the adjustment for the first down. And, man, they had a chance there. Beats Adebo with the catch. But, man, if he would have thrown that a little bit out in front of him, he could have had a catch and more. 
at second 11. Dump it down to McCaffrey, just getting whatever he can. As pressure coming in the face of Justin Fields, picks up only around three and brings up a third and eight. Fields looking, dangerous throw, trying to fit it over Deion Jones's head, intended for Ruggs. That's going to be incomplete. And once again, man, just can't seem to get much against, get going against this Atlanta defense. They are fantastic. As Ryan's going to go up top, intended for Julio Jones, but Dante Jackson, speaking of fantastic, has himself another here. Fourth interception of the year for Dante Jackson. Man, that guy is amazing. So glad we signed him last year. He is fantastic. As gets the turnover there. And let's see if we can take that momentum, that turnover, and turn it into something here. Third and two. Fields looking across the middle. Finds D. Kill Harry. Makes the nice move there. Well, Keanu Neal, who has ruined so many games in the past for us with, you know, that big hit, forcing fumbles. Nothing there. Gets juked out of his shoes. And it's a first down. It's up to the 47. Watch out. Fields is just going to be whipped to the ground by Tack McKinley. Man. Just threw him to the ground like he was nothing. Third and 21 now. Got to be careful here. Fields looking down the field. Kind of mixed up a little bit with his receivers there. That's going to be incomplete. And forces another punt. So no score yet as we're halfway through this first half. So both defenses playing very well as Julio Jones takes a hard hit there from Luke Keekley and gets a first down. So Freeman on the carry. He's going to have another first down for Atlanta for the 36-yard line. So Atlanta trying to get something of their own here. Before halftime, second and ten. Ryan to the outside is going to have Julio Jones, but Del Pitt is there with a great open field one-on-one -on -one tackle there to bring up a third down. And now Ryan's going to dump it off to Freeman, but once again, the tackling. I was saying it last, uh, you know, last game, how really well this defense tackles in open space, and that's kind of what you got to do this day and age in the NFL. You're, you're, you're going to allow yards. It's really just containing the big plays. You get those one-on-one -on -one situations. You got to make the stops, and that's what we're doing here with this defense. First and ten. Going to dump it down to McCaffrey. Just trying to get what we can. Makes a juke move. Jukes out two guys there. They're tripping over each other as McCaffrey up to the 46 and a first down. 126 left in this first half. Just trying to get, on the, get something on the scoreboard here. So once again, McCaffrey with the catch. He's going to pick up around six or seven yards there and bring up a third and three. And there we go. Big first down, Evan Ingram. Puts us to the 37. Going to be close here to field goal range with 50 seconds left. we got two timeouts. First and 10. Fields looking. Going to find Ruggs for the catch. And then Ruggs is going to the ball stripped down. Fumble. Picked up Deion Jones. Rips the ball right out of Henry Ruggs' hands. What a play by the linebacker there. Ripping it right out. And because of that, we get nothing on the board. And we go to halftime here at zero apiece. Both defenses dominating here so far. No real advantage to either team. So, man, it's going to be an interesting second half here. If you want to head over to discountmutcoins.com, if you're all about Madden Ultimate Team, you can head over there, get yourself a coin pack for a cheap price. You can also take 10% off with my code Luigi23. As we'll head around the rest of the league, Tampa Bay looking for their first victory of the season. And they got the lead over the Rams, who are also 1-4 and four and really struggling. A team we'll see in the next, I believe maybe next week we see the Rams. So uh, that's a matchup to look forward to. But the Rams, another struggling team as both offenses in this ball game struggling here so far. So we're trying to get something going here. And that's a good start in this second half, finding rugs there for 15 yards and a first down. First and 10. Fields looking, trying to find something. He's going to throw. He's going to go up top. This is a dangerous throw, but it is caught by DJ Moore. What a throw all the way across the end of the field for a first down. But great job hanging on to that ball. About to take the big hit. He does there. So we're moving it here. Best drive maybe of the ball game here other than that, uh, you know, the end of that first half. So four yards there for McCaffrey. Third and six now. Can we continue this drive? Fields is going to take off. Slides down. First down to the 29-yard line. So best drive of the ball game here in field goal range at the 29, but we want more. First and 10, hand off to Dalvin Cook. He'll pick up seven. We'll actually give him eight there on the carry. Second and two, we'll just go right back to him. Go to Dalvin Cook, and he has a first down there. So move the chains up to the 19 to continue with this run game. McCaffrey with the run. He'll pick up nine there down to the 10. I think we just continue with this run game here. Go to McCaffrey on the ground. Second and one, another first down. 
So maybe we're uh, breaking this uh, Atlanta defense a little bit. First and goal. Hand off to McCaffrey from the gun. And McCaffrey's in for the touchdown. Big time score there. First score of the ball game for either team. 721 here into this uh, second half. 7 nothing the score here. So I think we found something maybe with that offense running the ball, trying to wear down this defense here of this Atlanta team, not allow them to get any pass rush, just continue to try to run that ball here. So great play there by Tamani Hills on the Wildcat formation from Atlanta. Is going to bring up a third and 15, and they'll dump it down to Freeman as Keekly with the big hit there makes the stop. We get a three and out right away. And let's put back this offense here in this run game. See if we can continue it here. First and 10, handoff McCaffrey. Gets around to the outside. He's going to pick up around 12. And I think that's going to be 15 more there. It is. Personal foul there. Give us the extra 15 yards. And that will put us up now to the 47-yard line. First and 10, going to try to play action off that run game. And it does not work. Man. You know, you try to play action. you got such a great run game going. You try to hit a bit of a play action off of it, and it just does not work. That's a killer there. And on third and 17, the pass rush gets home. Humphrey gets in there for the sack. So that's going to instantly kill that drive there back to the 36-yard line and force another punt here with 250 left in this third quarter trying to shut down this Atlanta offense. We're going to go to third and five to Devontae Freeman, and guess what? We get another three and out. We are just shutting down only 52 yards passing for Matt Ryan here. And, man, I know it's only a one-possession game, but right now that one possession seems, you know, so far and ahead here for Atlanta as Dalvin Cook with a run. He picks up, actually gave him the first down. We'll take it. First and 10 now from the 32. Go to McCaffrey on the ground. And he'll pick up maybe around five there. Look at him, five over the 37-yard line and brings up a third and five. So Fields looking down the field. Watch out, pressure coming and goes down again. Just give credit to that coverage down the field. If you look there, there's really nobody open down the field. Nothing for where fields to go. Runs out of time. Sack. So now Atlanta's offense is really trying to get something going. But Dontrell Sherrod, nice play there. Knocks it away. Incomplete. Second and ten. Ryan on the play. Action pressure coming. He goes down. Isaiah Simmons, our first sack of the ball game. Knocking back Ryan all the way back to the five-yard line. And it's going to be a third and 18 here as we're into this fourth quarter. Ryan on the play action. Flag on the play. It's going to dump this one underneath. That's going to be caught. Now, I don't think anybody was in the end zone. So it wouldn't be a safety. So it's holding the offense. We'll just decline there. Another stop here. So with 10.42 left in the ball game, this is, you know, our offense was just absolutely killing it last week. But this week, just a 7-0 ball game. Still, we got to get something here because it's only a one possession ball game. You know, one big play by Atlanta, just like that, they've tied this game up. So, first and 10. Going to pitch this one to DJ Moore, trying to get around the outside. Runs into his own man, but still going to have enough room there to pick up a first down gain of 14 up to the 27 yard line. At least got to get three on this drive here. First and 10. Hand off to Dalvin Cook with the carry. He's up to the 18, close to another first down. And brings up a second and one from the 18. Going to go to this time to Jordan Scarlett on the run, trying to switch things up a little bit. But it's going to be a holding call there. So uh, instead of a third and one, that's going to knock us back now to a third and 15 here from the 32-yard line. So Fields looking, looking around, just going to dump this one off to Ruggs. And Ruggs is going to break off a tackle, did not want to do that. So it takes away the forward progression and man... Knocks us all the way back to the 40 and going to knock us out of field goal range. That was absolutely disappointing. Did not mean to break off that tackle there. And it would have kept us still at field goal range. But now Atlanta has a chance now. 7.32 left. Completion up to the 42-yard line. Second and 10 for Matt Ryan in this offense. 7-0 ball game. Pressure coming. Just throws it up and it's caught. What a play by Matt Ryan pressure in his face he just throws it up and it's a catch for 32 yards unbelievable so now down to the 21 best field position of this Atlanta offense all game second and six go to the outside that's going to be a catch to Julio Jones and a first down less than five minutes now Ryan to the back of the end zone touchdown Atlanta we've stopped this Atlanta offense this whole game 
And Matt Ryan and company come up huge here in the fourth quarter. Tie this ball game up at 7. 451 left. Once again, another good one here against this Atlanta team. You can always expect a crazy down to the wire game against Atlanta. And here we go again. Third and five. Fields looking. Flag on the play. First down to Ruggs. And the ball is loose. Ball is on the ground. And it is picked up. Nice job by Ingram picking the ball up. But see what this flag is. It's holding on the offense. So instead of a first down, back us up to a third and 15. So going empty here on third and 15. Fields looking. He's going to try to find Ruggs. But it's going to be picked off by Desmond Trufant. Breaks off a tackle. And Atlanta's going to take over with 335 left at the 35-yard line. And their offense had a great drive last uh, drive, getting the touchdown. All they need now is three points to take the lead. Second and 10. They're running that Wildcat again. Taylor with the run. Breaks off. He picks up 14 up to the 49-yard line. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. First and 10. 230 left. Freeman, the guy in the backfield, gets the carry. Keekley's going to lay him out. Ball is loose, and Keekley picks it up. What a play by Luke Keekley. And oh no, Luke Keekley is holding maybe his wrist or shoulder. We'll have to take a look at that. But still makes the big play. And now gives us a chance here with a chance to a field goal to take the lead. McCaffrey with the run. Picks up 10 yards there to the 35. And a first down. So runs this down to the two-minute warning. Keekley with a shoulder tear. Oh. So this game could be bittersweet. We'll see. Third and four now. 117 left. Love to get the first down here because if we get it first, we can run this all the way down and kick a field goal to end the ball game. Third and four though. Fields, watch out. Just get rid of it. He does. Keeps us in that field goal range now. Atlanta will still have two timeouts. Brings on the field goal unit here. Can Lambeau knock this one in? Give us the lead from 46 yards. This kick is up and it is good. All right. Gives us the 10 to 7 lead. With 106 left, and our defense has got to do the job here. Ryan in this offense starting at the 25-yard line, two timeouts. Setting up a screen there to Freeman on the first play. Good tackle there by Tim Williams. Brings him down at the 29. They're going to hurry it up here. Second and six now. Ryan from the 29. Goes up top, one-on-one. -on -one, knocked away by Dante Jackson. And Sherrod is there to pick this one off. And that is going to be the ball game. What a play all around. You can see it's going to start with Von Miller coming up, getting the pressure on Matt Ryan, forcing the early throw. And then what a play by the best cornerback, I'm saying right now in football, Dante Jackson. Sherrod, the rookie, right there to pick this one off on the tip ball drill. Unbelievable job by the defense getting the stop there and keeping this a 10-7 ball game. And with this kneel down, this is going to be it, and we get it there, 10-7 to 7 the score. So I said it last week, it doesn't matter what kind of game we've gotten in, we can, get into a, we can get into a shootout, we can get into a defensive battle, and that's exactly what we did this week. This was one of the toughest, hard-fought games. Give credit to Atlanta's defense. Man, they're just so tough. Like I said, there's some teams that just, you don't see the field correctly. You just don't see. It's just so tough sometimes. And that's what this Atlanta defense did. They didn't give up anything. Their coverage down the field. They played a lot of man coverage. And there was just nobody really open down the field. We had some a little success running the football, obviously. That's, you know, what we need to do even more. But even when you have success running the ball and they shut you down a few plays and they put you in those third and seven, third and eight situations, and they can just cover you man for man and allow that pass rush to get there. That's exactly what happened in the ball game, but our defense comes up with a big play there to uh, get the turnover, preserve the victory, and remain undefeated here through week number six. Go to 5-0 on the season. Man, what a ball game there. Bunch of upgrades around. McCaffrey gets an upgrade. He's up down to a 94 overall. We got uh, Nikhil Harry one. I think we're going to be a deep threat. Yeah, he'll still be up to an 81 overall. And we get a plus one speed. We'll take that one. Nikhil Harry will have to be re-signed as Dontrell Sherrod, the rookie, uh, has an upgrade. But, yeah, that's the guy, That's really, depending on the contract Nikhil Harry wants, obviously star development, so young. I believe he's only 24 years old. Um, 
you know, you got to be careful with spending the money. We, we have so we're so deep at receiver. Do you bring him in, bring him back? I think we do. Um, I think we re-sign him for sure. I mean, unless he wants, you know, something upwards of, you know, twelve, thirteen million dollars a year. I think possibly we don't do it there. But if he, if he, if he only wants six, you know, six, seven million dollars a year, I definitely think the how young he is, the talent he has, definitely for sure we can bring him back. So we'll have to look at that as yeah, Luke Keekley. Okay, three weeks, not as bad as I thought. At first I was thinking, man, he's gonna be gone for like eight weeks with a shoulder tear, but three weeks, not as bad. We'll have to deal with it. We'll go on, we'll take on the Rams, who did get the victory against Tampa Bay. But you know who we gotta go against. Yep, Aaron Donald. You know, with these X Factor defensive linemen, it's so tough to stop. It really changes your game plan. It really does. Obviously, he only has three and a half sacks this year, but man, he could have that in a game against us. So, we got to do everything we can to slow him down. If that use more short passes, try to run the ball a little bit more. That might be the key. Try to at least try to run the ball because we have to slow him down. Because if he's going to have those situations where we got to throw the ball around and he's allowed to just come at us, man, it's going to be so tough to really slow Aaron Donald down. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. If you please leave a like, I'd appreciate that as well. And if you not hit, have hit that subscribe button, please do as well. But I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.